Today, we're going to talk about what's good and bad about the winter in New Jersey. Hey there, NJRoot22.com with a continuation of our four part series about the seasons in New Jersey. We started off in the fall about three months ago about what's good and bad about the fall and the next season in line is winter. We're going to start off with the bad things about winter in New Jersey. First thing that is obvious for most people is that it can get pretty damn cold. And I don't know who loves the cold weather. I mean, maybe some people who like hiding their appearance might like the cold weather, but uh, we don't like it. Unless you're like wearing a thousand dollar outfits and you're snowboarding somewhere, uh, looking all fashionable, like Dumb and Dumber. Remember when they walked in with those uh, little outfits on? I don't know. I don't like the cold. I think cold is uh, very uncomfortable. And of course, weather headaches. You know, any other season, you know, spring, fall, summer, rain is really not such a problem. Unless you get a major storm and there's a lot of wind and flooding, rain, rain is rarely a problem compared to the winter. The winter you get an inch of snow, not even an inch of snow, like maybe a, a dusting of snow and the idiots come out. They can't drive, they don't, they think their four by fours work great and nobody understands that uh, slippery surfaces, frozen surfaces certainly cause problems. Of course, like we just said, uh, frozen things are, are just not good in general. It's not just the uh, driving per se, it's your home. You have frozen uh, hose lines, you have um, uh, ice dams in your gutters. Frozen uh, situations just stink. Branches falling and, and all this stuff. I don't like things frozen unless it's uh, food or ice for my drinks. And of course, there's something called SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder. It's uh, the lack of light. You know, at the peak of summer, we have about 15 hours of daylight. And at the peak of winter, we have only about nine hours. And this is plus or minus whatever minutes. I'm just using a roundabout number. When it gets dark, you know, at like 4.30, and it, it kind of wears on you. Like the darkness, if we all lived basically uh, like, like we did before modern technology came around, we would probably go to sleep when it got dark and woke up naturally when it became light just like uh, animals do. And I guess some people suffer more than others. It's definitely a factor when it comes into the pros and cons of winter. One other thing is the discomfort and hassle that comes along with winter time. You have to admit it, putting a tank top and a pair of shorts and some socks and, or just flip-flops is really uh, fun in the, win in the summer, summertime. In the wintertime, you have like so much more stuff to deal with. Jackets, jeans, boots, and all the multiple layers and everything. It, it's just a big pain in the neck. You know, laundry is probably at least double the size and, and double the frequency in the wintertime because you have bigger things you need to wash. Obviously that, you know, it depends on how big you are as a person. I'm, you know, over 6'4 and, and 200 pounds. So my, uh, I have to do laundry definitely more often. And another thing about the winter that it can be a real big pain in the neck is the heavy snow. You know, last year in 2019, we did not have any measurable snow. I mean, it was like, I think an inch or two and it was nothing. It melted quick. I didn't have to use my snowblower. In 2020 here, we've already had one or two snowstorms. Uh, one that required my snowblower and it broke, of course, and it was all out of shape because I didn't use it for almost two years. Cleaning up after snow is, is really... A lot, I think it's a lot harder than, than cleaning up your grass or your leaves in any other season. Uh, but the, there's one good thing that you need to know about this is that winter's only about 13 weeks long. Every season's about 13 weeks long. So it really gets back to normal relatively quickly. So what's good about the winter? Really, I mean, it, it's really hard to find the silver lining in, you know, in this arm pit of America called New Jersey. But I'm going to try my best to be a little positive about it. It's all about perspective. I think we really do enjoy having four true seasons here in New Jersey because it gives you a way to compare the good and the bad. Like you really wouldn't appreciate the nice weather without having something bad 
to compare it to. If it was nice always, uh, perhaps that you might get a little complacent and, and just get used to it. I think having it mix up, uh, you know, four times a year is, is something that uh, adds to the, the integrity of a human being. There are beautiful moments. You know, when you wake up or when the snow just finished falling, you have a nice six or eight inches of, of, of fresh snow and it's all quiet and there's no wind. It's just really beautiful. Those moments are something to cherish. And another thing that I found, a little silver lining, is there's something about being cozy, I guess. There's a difference between, you know, feeling hot and cooling off in the air conditioning and after sweating and feeling exhausted from the, sometimes heat is oppressive. The cold is, is oppressive in its own way, but there's something about being cold and warming up that it, I think might have a little bit more happiness involved with it. One of my favorite things about the winter is the lack of bugs. Now, it was getting really good at the end of the fall where the bugs started diminishing, but there's literally almost zero bugs in the winter. No flying insects in your ear, in your face, no stings. No, I mean, we don't get stings anyway. It's just really nice that these pesky bugs are gone. They're just sitting there <laughs> resting up for the uh, spring that comes in uh, a few weeks or 13 weeks. There are many others that you can put into this little video snippet, uh, such as uh, you can... Uh, get more propane. You get like, I don't know, 10% more propane in your tank when it's cold out. Or, you know, maybe some of the people that typically wear too little clothing uh, that shouldn't uh, now have to wear coats. And that's kind of a nice uh, visual uh, reprieve from, from that kind of uh, thing. What about how, you know, a nice hot cup of soup or coffee really just hits the spot in a way they could never feel in, in the summertime. You know, like a nice hot cup of chicken soup I make just feels so good when it's cold out. But in general here in New Jersey, they, the winter is, is short when you think about it compared to like northern uh, uh, areas like Canada or Alaska. You're not sitting there six months or eight months of the year freezing cold. And I think growing up here, we can't even fathom what it would be like to live in a place like San Diego where it's like 70 degrees exactly like every single day of the year. I mean, I, that certainly is nice, but does it wear on you? Does it kind of like make you feel mundane? Like it's just perfectly nice every day. I don't know. That's it. If you enjoy this video, please hit the bell and subscribe and uh, we'll talk about other random crap later.